Alright, so I'm finally gonna show how you make lights from TVs. I have a broken TV here. So just remove all the screws, start with the legs, then look under stickers, and if you don't find any more screws, then pry the TV open. There are small clips all around the edges, so remove all of them. You have to kind of bend it and then kind of fold it. This is the power supply, we'll need that remove everything else. Uh, these connectors can be pulled out by pressing on the top and then pulling. These connectors have a small latch so just lift up that latch and pull it out. This cable might be useful if you want to modify it further so keep that. Remove everything else. This board needs to be lifted up and then pushed to the left. It will kind of slide out. Now you'll need to get rid of this, or just remove, don't break it, uh, remove this black thing, it has small clips that you have to bend like I did with my thumbs, and after that you need to remove the LCD panel and the board that is connected to it, so remove anything that is covering the board, and after you do that, uh, you can just pull out the board itself. After you pull out the boards, flip the TV over and just lift up the LCD panel. Just make sure you don't break the panel because it might spill glass. And also the panel is sharp, so don't cut yourself on it like I did. These layers, make sure you don't fold them or make them dirty or anything because then you'll have spots in your light. Now you can put the black cover back on, snap it back in just like you unclipped it. And then, do not touch the power supply while it is on or off. And you can plug it in and see if it works. It should light up right away, if it doesn't then send me an email. It's an older model. Put the backing on and should be done. Wow, I did such a good job with this voiceover. Damn. Uh, no, I didn't. I, I'm trying something new. So I removed all my like messy stuff. I mean, like uh, most of the live streams are now gone. They are in a playlist and they are just unlisted, but they are gone from the videos page. And I'll be trying to make more edited content. I need to get better at voiceover and stuff, but and I just thought that it would be better if I put some work into the content that I produce. And I don't really care about how many subscribers I have, but I think that the people that subscribe to me or I would like to give them something more than just a notification spam of live streams and then few months of silence so yeah I started a second channel and that will be more info on in a different video that will be released some sometime soon maybe today as well but yeah that's about it thanks for watching and subscribe am I gonna say that no I don't think I want to say that I don't know just thanks for watching